Tech Nerdist channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to check us out on Patreon, pop over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's T-E-C-H-N-I-V-O-R-O-U-S. Here, we do our best to stay up to date on the latest and greatest in 3D printing and tech and keep you informed on the latest developments in these sectors. So, if you're interested in getting updates on 3D printing or technology such as programming, robotics, artificial intelligence, and things of that nature, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, leave a like on this video, and comment about what you'd like to see in the future because we make these videos for you. Hello everybody, welcome to 3D Printing for Beginners. This is the 2020 edition and today we are going to be taking a look at where you can find your own models to print. Now there are several ways to obtain models and go about beginning to build your own model collection. One of the first and foremost I would like you to take a look at is right here in Kira. Yes, this is a regular old Kira. This is the latest version that is out and I have made some visual updates. So uh, don't worry about that. Yours probably going to be white and blue around here. Uh, makes no difference to what we're trying to accomplish today. What you do need to be aware of is this button up here in the corner that says Marketplace. So if I click on that, there is an extension in here called Thingy Browser. Now, we'll go over Thingiverse and its drawbacks in just a minute, but as far as Thingy Browser goes, it's a lot more effective than actually going to the Thingiverse website. And now it also incorporates another model database called My Mini Factory into it as well. So this does take a minute to load here. Basically what I'm going to do is scroll down to find the Thingy Browser extension in this list here. And as you can see for me it's already installed. You would want to click on this and install it. Go through the process and it will ask you to restart Kira. And once you do that, under extensions up here you'll see Thingy Browser. And I'm going to go ahead and click Browse. Now the reason I like this so much is because it makes it very easy to switch between both sites for the same search and you can import it right to the build plate which means you don't have to mess around with any of the downloading and then transferring that some of the sites make you mess with when you download them then you have to put them in the right folder then you have to unzip them and that's just no fun. So we're going to skip past all that and open up Thingy Browser. Oh, and it is actually open here. It was just hiding behind my window. So there are this. This is basically when you get onto the website, the front page. This is what it's showing you. The most recent models are, uh, and you're looking in popular, and you're on the Thingiverse site. We can skip over to my mini factory real quick, uh, and there's a lot of models in here as well. We're gonna go back. We're gonna use this specifically for Thingiverse today because I am gonna show you the browser versions of these and. My Mini Factory's website is worth a little bit longer look, I think. Thingiverse does have a ton of models, but it's notorious for being an, uh, uh, down all the time or people having complications with it. So um, this is one of my favorite searches to do when looking for models. It is just print in place, three words, and we'll go ahead and search that. What a print in place model is, is a model that you can print as a single piece. It comes out in one print and usually they have moving parts or pieces so they're pretty interesting things like collapsible swords fidget spinners shooting targets things like that so uh, I have already downloaded this and placed it into my build plate but I'll show you how to do that basically you click details on the item you want and then you click add to build plate down here on the STL you want now the top one is eyeball 4-STL this one does have these pieces in it already this is just one of the inside pieces if you want to see how it works but uh, we don't need to uh, I'll hit add to build play we can delete it all right so now there's two of them let me go ahead and just get rid of that one uh, that's an easy way to obtain a model let's go back and look for let's try another popular search here let's try Saw that cool Deadpool bust on the My Mini Factory side. Yeah, and there it is. It's pretty much the same exact one. So some of these models will cross to different versions. And in fact, we can jump over and I can show you that right now. So 
So here we are on the My Mini Factory website. There are some awesome things about this website. You can contribute to artists, support designers, things like that. But they do have a ton of free models as well. So let's see if we can find that exact Deadpool bust. Uh, there's a lot more Deadpool stuff showing up here. We're seeing some very similar ones to that one. Um, I would say that that's pretty close to it right there. Or this one here. So, yeah, uh, a lot of options here on my mini factory. It is a pretty much endless pool of objects. Uh, just to be fair, we'll take a look at Thingiverse as well. And you can see it's showing us those same models it showed us in the display, and then we can search. We can search by the creator of the thing, the poster of the thing, different things like that. Um, but again, if you're going to use a website, you're going to be a lot more, uh, this is a lot more reliable. Let's try another common search. So quite a few. There's some premium models up here that you have to pay for, but then there's quite a few free ones down here that you can get a hold of. And of course, everything is ad supported. So there are a few ads in here, but I mean, the models are free and there is a pretty much endless supply of them. Now, short of these two websites, and there are other websites, I know that Prusa has a model repository, so we can look that up real quick. I don't use it too often, but you guys might dig it. I always go to the same freaking link and have to hack my way there. Alright, this is the Proof Sprinter community, and here there are also a ton of models that you can download. You can explore prints, and there's a lot to look at. Let's go ahead and click in here. Uh, 20,525 prints found. So, not the biggest repository out there, but uh, that is still quite a large number, I think. Ah, there it is. I had to Google it. Thingiverse community has uploaded over 1,834,310 3D models. So far. So that's uh, a lot. So don't neglect Thingiverse if you don't like using the website. Most people use Cura to slice anyway, so definitely check out this browser extension. Now, one of the other things you can do is simply do a Google search. If you're looking for an item in particular, and you don't want to search one site, but you want to search all of them, you can type it in. And then just type STL download. It'll show you a bunch of sites. One of them, one of the more common ones you're going to find is Yegi. We'll open Yegi up. And Colts 3D is also a great one to check out. So we'll open both of these. These are another couple of websites that are pretty common. They turn up often in the first results when you're searching for an STL to download. And here's Yegi, and one of the reasons Yegi is so powerful is because it searches a bunch of 3D models databases, so you can basically, if you go to it, it'll tell you website, CG Trader, and download for sale. So you'd have to buy that one from the CG Trader website. Um, this one is free on Thingiverse. This one is for sale on a website called Gambody. This one is free on U Magazine, for sale on Gambody, and then there's pages and pages of these, so um, it is a little bit harder to find the free ones in here because this does pull from a, a lot of other stuff. This one's free on Pin Shape, that's Shenron Bust there. Um, so that's pretty cool that it'll gather from all of the websites. This is all of the ones on just the Colts website, and if you highlight it, you'll see the price pop up down here how much it costs to buy that model so um, you can 
I believe, filter this to find just the free ones, but I'm not sure how to do that. I don't use this site too much. I can normally find what I need between my mini factory and thingy purse. Well, that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers, and so far I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel, but they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.